人，大家好，我是梁彩玲，欢迎大家收看我们英文检定一第四讲的节目。今天的题目叫 The Law of the Garbage Truck， 垃圾车原理或者垃圾车理论。首先来看课程重点，第一个叫认识垃圾车理论，呃，这是一个新的理论哦，蛮有趣的。第二个我们要来看 A 的发音，第三个呢，我们要来看 Take 有什么用法。好，首先我们在听课文之前呢，我们先听一下 Dr. Culture 有关今天课文的解释。This is a very good attitude to have in life. In American culture, this saying or similar ones are often repeated. There will always be people full of rage and resentment. Those kinds of emotions can be very infectious. And you don't want to be like those people. That being said, in our current society, a lot of people are overworked, stressed out, and close to a full-on breakdown. Therefore, these people have a lot of anger and rage built up inside them, which they vent. Either when being stuck in traffic, at work, or even at home. However, another common idea in American culture is that anger and frustration should be vented, but in a healthy way. These types of emotions fill up like water in a river. In life, we all encounter things—things things that add more frustration and anger, which in turn adds more water to the river. And so, as with a river after a typhoon, you need spillways for the water to escape from, without causing too much. Damage. Without a spillway for your emotions, frustration will boil over and turn into rage. So it is just better to give yourself the opportunity to let off some steam before it's too late. 好，听完 Doctor Culture 的解释呢，我们要来做练习。首先听一下。有哪些 key words？ 请同学们打开耳朵注意听。One day, I hopped in a taxi and took off for the airport. We were driving in the right lane when suddenly a black car jumped out of a parking space right in front of us. My taxi driver slammed on his brakes, skidded, and missed the other car by just inches. The driver of the other car whipped his head around and started yelling at us. My taxi driver just smiled and waved at the guy, and I mean he was really friendly. So I asked, "Why did you just do that? This guy almost ruined your car and sent us to the hospital." This is when my taxi driver taught me what I now call the law of the garbage truck. He explained that many people are like garbage trucks. They run around full of garbage, full of frustration, full of anger, and full of disappointment. As their garbage piles up, they need a place to dump it, and sometimes they'll dump it on you. Don't take it personally. Just smile, wave, wish them well, and move on. Don't take their garbage and spread it to other people at work, at home, or on the streets. The bottom line is that successful people do not let garbage trucks take over their day. Life is too short to wake up in the morning with regrets. Life is 10% what you make it and 90% how you take it. 
We were driving in the right lane when suddenly a black car jumped out of a parking space right in front of us. My taxi driver slammed on his brakes, skidded, and missed the other car by just inches. The driver of the other car whipped his head around and started yelling at us. My taxi driver just smiled and waved at the guy. And I mean, he was really friendly. So I asked, why did you just do that? This guy almost ruined your car and sent us to the hospital. This is when my taxi driver taught me what I now call the law of the garbage truck. He explained that many people are like garbage trucks. They run around full of garbage, full of frustration, full of anger, and full of disappointment. As their garbage piles up, they need a place to dump it, and sometimes they'll dump it on you. Don't take it personally. Just smile, wave, wish them well, and move on. Don't take their garbage and spread it to other people at work, at home, or on the streets. The bottom line is that successful people do not let garbage trucks take over their day. Life is too short to wake up in the morning with regrets. Life is 10% what you make it and 90% how you take it. 同学们对了几个呢? One day I hopped in a taxi and took off for the airport. 有一天我hopped in H-O-P-P-E-D, 这是答案. Hopped in a taxi, 跳上一台计程车, and took off for the airport. Okay, 出发前往机场. We were driving in the right lane when suddenly a black car jumped out of a parking space right in front of us. Okay, 这句有点长. 他说我们正在, we were driving in the right lane. 你在哪一条车道上, 我们用lane这个字, lane, L-A-N-E, when suddenly, 突然间, 有一辆黑色的车, 突然从右边的停车场, 冲到我们前面来, jump out of, okay, a parking space. 所以第三题的答案是 jump, 它是过去式, 加ED, 我们前面几讲有讲过, 动词加上ED之后的念法, 对不对? 这里是念 jumped, 好, 那下一题, parking, P-A-R-K-I-N-G, okay, 停车的位置, 第五句的答案是, My taxi driver slammed on his brakes, skidded, and missed the other car by just inches. Okay. 这题是说, 这个句子说, 我的计程车司机 slammed on, 第五句, 第五个空格要填的是 slam, 原来是S-L-A-M, 因为过去是重复一个M, 重复字尾, 再加ED, slammed on his brakes. 第六题的答案是 brakes, 刹车叫brakes, B-R-A-K-E-S, skidded, 第七格的答案, S-K-I-D-D-E-D, OK, 这里连续很多动作都是突然很多声音的, OK, 我们用这些动词来表示这些动作, 因为同学们在写作文的时候, 如果可以把这种带有很多画面的动词背起来, OK, 你的作文就会很生动, 比方说 slam, Slam on the door, slam the door, OK? 很用力的关门把门甩上, 那英文就是用slam, OK? Slam on his brakes, 他这里不能把刹车甩上, 是很急的踩上刹车, OK, skid it, OK, 滑行了, 就是你可以想象吗, 紧急刹车的那种声音, skid it, 我们这个音简里面,我们常常会讲到说, 用声音来学, 英文,声音是很重要的,所以你要看到字就敢念,念对,那个感觉就会出来,就是所谓的那个feel就会出来, and miss the other car by just inches, 差一点就撞到其他车了。The driver of the other car whipped his head around and started yelling at us. 照理讲,你差点被撞到,应该是你要去对别人咆哮吧。结果另外那台车的司机居然回头,第八题的答案, 因为又是重复字尾,它原来是whip,重复字尾再加ED, 回头,whipped his head around,头回了几下, and started yelling us, 
，居然就开始朝着我们咆哮了。那你想，你如果在开车的时候有人对你咆哮，你会不会很生气呀？正常是会嘛。但是 my taxi driver just smiled， 他什么也没做，他继续他的微笑 ，and wave。At the guy, he 还对那个人挥挥手，那个家伙 ，OK， 还跟他挥挥手。And I mean, he was really friendly, 而且是很友善的 ，OK， 并不是那种假装的，他是真的发自内心的很友善。所以我就问他了。So I asked, Why did you just do that? This guy almost ruined your car and sent us to the hospital. 你为什么要对他那么好呢？你为什么要那样做呢？那个家伙差一点就毁了你的车子，而且让我们都进医院。表示说，我们如果有车祸，就会受伤了。This is when my taxi driver taught me what I now call the law of garbage truck. 就是在这个时候呢，我的计程车司机教我学会了我现在说的这个原则，这个理论叫做 the law of the garbage truck， 就是垃圾车理论。好，什么是垃圾车理论呢？同学们想知道吗？我们休息一下，待会再回来。垃圾车理论呢？我们来听听看，这个 taxi driver 说了什么？他说了 ，He explained that many people are like garbage trucks. 他说了，他解释 ，explain 解释，很多人就像垃圾车一样 ，garbage trucks 就是垃圾车。Okay, they run around full of garbage, full of frustration, full of anger, and full of disappointment. 这些人呢，载满了什么？载满了垃圾。比方说什么叫垃圾？好，他后面就举例了。Frustration， 挫折。你今天事情不顺利，没有搭上公车，错过了什么 ？OK， 呃，这个吃早餐不小心掉到番茄酱沾到衣服身上，挫折。Full of anger， 愤怒。还有 full of disappointment， 充满了失望。不管是对人的失望，对事情的失望，对自己的失望，充满这些垃圾。OK， 那这些垃圾会怎么样呢？ As their garbage piles up, 当他们的垃圾 piles up 就是堆到一个尽头的时候 ，piles up 一直跌上来，一直跌上来，一直跌上来。They need a place to dump it. Dump 是我们第九格的答案 ，D U M P. Dump 就是倒，把它倒掉。Okay, to dump it, and sometimes they will dump it on you. 来，注意听，有一个 dump it on you， 有时候他们会把它倒在你身上。Okay. 所以他们就是倒的满车，就像垃圾车一样。你经过垃圾车会很想停留吗？当然不会啊，因为又臭又脏，对不对？但是有一些人其实就是像垃圾车一样，你要尽量避开这种人，也不要自己成为那样的人。好，还下一个 ，Don't take it personally。好，这句是英文的名言，你这句话可以常常对自己讲，也可以用来安慰别人。记起来哦 ，Don't take it personally。这里的 it 指的就是任何发生在你身上。不愉快的事情，比方说你今天去排队买个早餐，那个店员给你不好的脸色，或者找钱给你的时候用丢的，或者给你的呃早餐的时候用丢的 ，Don't take it personally。它不是针对你，不是你今天长得不好看，不是你今天特别不帅 ，Don't take it personally。跟你没有关系 ，OK？ 他可能今天早上呃小孩子发烧啦，或者跟先生吵架啦 ，OK？ 任何事情都有可能啊。你就是 just smile， 你就是继续你的微笑。Wave, 跟他招招手 Wish them well, 而且祝福他们 And move on, 继续你的生活。你不要让那个乐色沾染到你身上。万一乐色飘到身上的时候怎么办？甩一甩，继续过你的日子。Don't take their garbage and spread it. OK， 我们第十格的答案是 spread, S P R E A D， 散播 and spread it. 散播给谁呢 ？To other people， 给别人。哪些人呢？哪些人是高危险群呢 ？At work， 跟你一起工作的人 ；At home， 你的家人 ；Or on the street， 或者你路上遇到的人。OK， 你不要变成那个垃圾车，把垃圾倒给这些人。好，因为这些是高危险群，你会遇到的人。The bottom line is that， 他说底线 ，bottom line 就是底线。底线是什么呢 ？Successful people do not let garbage trucks take over their day. 成功的人是不会允许或者让别人的乐色影响到他们的一整天。Life is too short to wake up in the morning with regrets. 
，生命啊实在是很短，短到呢你不可以在白天的时候一醒来就充满了悔恨，应该是充满了希望。OK， life is ten percent what you make it， and ninety percent how you take it。你看英文是不是很漂亮？一个是 make it， 一个是 take it。他说生命其实就是十 percent 你做出来的，只有一成。你如何面对它？你如何处理它？有九成决定了你的命运，这个是不是很厉害啊 ？OK， 这个是从《The Law of Garbage Truck》，这是一本很有名的书，呃 ，David p o l l y 写的。OK，《The Law of Garbage Truck》跟今天跟同学们分享这段很有意义的课文。好，接下来我们再来听 Dr. Culture 有关于这部分的解释。Another famous saying in America is that of Dusting off your shoulders. It entails that as people, things, and circumstances make your life harder or make you feel bad, you should try and just ignore it and move on. You should just brush those negative feelings off like dust that has fallen on your shoulders. But this isn't always as easy to do, and people that live in high-stress environments are more likely to get angry more often. A well-known case of this is the city of New York. Many people think that people from New York are always very angry. And will express this anger vocally by swearing and cursing a lot. And of course, New York City is a very competitive place, where everyone is trying to make a career for themselves. Add to that the high amount of people living in what is a very small area, and you have a cocktail. For frustration, and people venting that frustration. This results in the famous line from a song: "Live in New York once in your life, but leave before it makes you hard." The advice of not letting angry and frustrated people influence your life is a good one. But in my experience as an American, it's not advice that is adhered to very often. People easily get worked up about other people being angry and rude, which they do let influence them. This can result in fights, and some circumstances, it can even result in death. The final line about the 90% and 10% of your life is a bit weird, though. You should always look on the bright side of life, but you just can't always do that. Some people's lives are really, really bad. They might be poor, hungry, and all around miserable. For them, it is much harder to always be happy. It's even harder in these cases not to take out your frustration on other people, or let other people's frustrations influence you in a bad way. Take 的用法 ，Take 在英文里面几乎是无所不在的，意思有很多。OK， 例如吃药，英文叫 take medicine， 不是 eat medicine。那量体温呢？你就用 take temperature。Temperature 是温度 ，take 量体温。那散步呢 ？Take a walk 就是 take。那搭计程车呢 ？Take a taxi。那如果搭公车呢 ？Take a bus。OK。那搭
，火车呢 ，take the train， OK， 就是 take 加上任何的交通工具都可以。还有一个很特别的 ，take 后面如果加上不同的介系词，又会有不同的意思。例如，脱掉，脱掉外套 ，take off。You may take off your jacket。脱掉鞋子 ，take off your shoes。脱掉帽子 ，take off your hat。Take off your eyeglasses。任何你穿戴上去的这些东西，你都可以把它 take off 掉，都是脱掉的意思。那如果 off 后面再加一个 for。哎，两个介系词了，那代表你要出发前往某一个地方。例如我们课文里面举到的例子 ，One day I hopped in a taxi and took off for the airport. 有一天我跳上一台计程车，那要去哪里 ？Took off for the airport. OK， 要到机场去。好，接下来我们要来看今天的 pronunciation focus。今天要看的是 a 的发音 ，a 长音。请同学注意，电视老师教学的发音练习，这样你的听跟说都会有提升哦。第一个字叫 take， take 要两拍，你不可以 take， 这样少一拍。英文是一个呃韵律很强的语言，它的语调 OK， 还有它的两拍就是两拍，你不能省略它 take。这样又变成另外一个字了。Then， 这是另外一个字。Take， 就是两拍。OK，A、okay? 的长音不可以偷懒。那下一个是 Land，Land， 你要拍完两拍的时候念完，这样才是正确的。好，同学们练习一下。下一个字 W A V E 怎么办 ？Wave， 两拍。好，那我们如果把 V 换成 K 呢？ Wake， 不可以念成 wake， wave， 那个都不是正常的发音。你如果自己发音不对，你就会听不懂别人在念什么，因为你念的跟他不一样。所以为什么我们要很强调这种长音 a？ 这个长音是两拍。所以下面这个字，同学练习一下，是什么？两拍啊。OK， day， 你要拍完落在那个点，你才算念完。OK， 不可以 day， 这样子有一拍，省略不可以。Words in use. Hop. One day I hopped in a taxi and took off for the airport. 第一个字我们要听的叫 hop, hop. OK. 但是这里刚才同学们听呃我们的外籍老师念的时候，你可能是听到 hopped， 因为它是过去式，重复一个 p 再加一 d， 就是跳 hop， 就是跳上去一台计程车。OK, hopped. 那下一个字。Lane. We were driving in the right lane when suddenly a black car jumped out of a parking space right in front of us. 我们要学的这个字是 lane, L A N E. 哪一个车道？比方说你开车开在高速公路上面，有内车道、外车道，英文就叫做 lane. OK, lane. 很多同学呃 this way, that way， 跟 way 没有关系。道这里是指的 lane， 哪一条车道，我们就用 lane. OK， 右车道你就 right lane， 左车道你就 left lane。那下一个字 ，jump。We were driving in the right lane when suddenly a black car jumped out of a parking space right in front of us. Jump, jump, jump 本来是跳，对不对？跳的意思，但是这里是冲出来，从哪里冲出来也可以用 jump。所以同学们在写作、英检写作的时候，如果你学会用这些动感十足的动词，你的英文写作就会很生动。好，那下一个是 parking. We were driving in the right lane when suddenly a black car jumped out of a parking space right in front of us. Parking. 这里不是公园哦。我们上次给同学，呃，有一个同学做一下练习，他居然说是公园 parking space， 公园的呃这个空间。No, parking 在这里是 parking space， 指的就是停车场。Any parking space? Can you find a parking space for me? 停车 ，OK. Park 是动词，停车。加 ing 之后变成形容词，停车的场地 ，parking space， 就从停车格啦或者停车位出来。好，那下一个。Slam. 
my taxi driver slammed on his brakes, skidded and missed the other car by just inches. Slam. 注意一下，我们这课选了很多都是要重复字尾再加 ed 的字。另外一个就是 slam, slam。你听那个声音是生气的还是好的 ？Slam。OK， 这个听起来是不是很凶猛啊？对不对？就是砰那种声音。英文也很多是拟声字，你要从声音来揣摩它的感觉。OK， slam 这是好字吗？不是好字，对不对？所以就砰，就是表示生气啊，你的愤怒啊，它是有。带有声音的这种动词，好，那下一个字是 break. My taxi driver slammed on his brakes, skidded, and missed the other car by just inches. Break. OK. 刹车 B R A K E. 同学不要跟 B R E A K 弄混淆了。OK. 音听起来很像，这个是刹车。下一个字 skid. My taxi driver slammed on his brakes, skidded, and missed the other car by just inches. Skid, 打滑 OK, skid, S K I. 这里也是一样，重复字尾再加 e d. Skid it, OK, skid it, 打滑了 OK. 因为紧急刹车就会滑，吭吭吭。你可以想象那种画面吗 ？OK. 那下一个是 whip. The driver of the other car whipped his head around and started yelling at us. Whip 也是重复字尾再加 ed 的，这是我们这课特别选的一些字。同学们要记起来，这些字要加 ed， 变成过去式的时候要重复字尾。Whipped， 哎，有没有觉得感觉很有画面呢 ？Whipped， 就有声音这样回头。Whipped， 好，那下一个字 ，dump。As their garbage piles up, they need a place to dump it. And sometimes they'll dump it on you. Dump, D U M P 是倾倒。那这个倾倒呢，还有常常用的。你如果看电影会说啊、哦、，I just got dumped。这个不是说有人来跟我倒垃圾，是说你被甩了，有人不要再跟你交往了。Oh, she dumps me. 她居然把我给甩了。OK. Oh, he dumped me. 你可以用这个 he 或者 she 加上 dump。加 e d 或者加 s me 就是你已经被甩了。Oh, I dumped him. 或者我把他甩掉了。这种甩是指关系结束，你不想再跟某人继续长期这种亲密的关系，你就说甩掉了。OK， 我甩掉谁了 ？OK， 或者谁把你给甩了 ？Somebody dumped me. Somebody dumped her. OK。下一个字是 spread. Don't take their garbage and spread it to other people at work. Spread. Spread, S P R E A D 是散播 ，spread。好，好，谢谢各位同学收看我们英文检定一第四讲的节目。今天的标题是 The Law of Garbage Truck， 垃圾车理论。谢谢大家的收看，我是梁彩玲，祝福大家英检一定零。<音樂>